Hello! If you're anything like me, then you've probably got a grey plastic pile of shame that's been building up and some kind of half-painted models lying around and you've been doing the hobby but, you know, you haven't really fully finished an army yet. And that's kind of what I've been going through at the moment. I've got some Necrons, I've got some Town, I've got some Space Marines and, you know, I've just been kind of slowly working on them, just tweaking, just fiddling. Uh, going in between different projects and it just feels like nothing's ever actually fully finished. And if you've seen my video about the Templar Sanguine Space Marine chapter that I posted a, a little while ago, uh, I finished a Space Marine chapter for my friend. I commissioned painted an army for him. And I rode that high for a little bit. I thought, wow, I've actually finished an army. I've finished a 2,000 point army. They're all built, all painted. And then, because it's a commission, I had to give it away. And um, that was quite a, a sinking feeling, really, because I'd put all of that work into it, and then it's all gone and passed on. And don't get me wrong, it's great. I'm so proud of it. But then I turned to my army and thought, right, I need to get some of this finished. So here we are. This is my Necron Force that I've been fiddling around with and working on for a couple of years now. Got most of it through Indomitus, the box set, and uh, also a few things from the Imperium magazine, so managed to get some Immortals and things like that for quite cheap, but it's a new year, it's 2024, and this video is the beginning of a project to finish my Necron army. So I'm going to be making some hobby vlog videos uh, to show off each unit that I finish and partly, you know, just to show them off and, and show off any cool techniques that I used that I think are worth sharing, uh, but also as just motivation to keep me painting and uh, always look forward to finishing the next unit. I really want to be showing off some cool different conversions and things, because I, I love putting conversions into models. I really like making an army feel like a personal project, like it's got that little extra spin on it. So I've got lots of things planned, like, for example, with this Wraith, um, I've actually built up a mound to make it look like it's coming out of the ground, which I'm really happy with. So I'm definitely going to be going into detail on how I did that. Uh, when it, when I finish this unit and do a, a dedicated video for it. And same thing with little models like the Scorpec Destroyers. Uh, I got three of them, three more of them, should I say, uh, after I got Indomitus. So I've got six all together, and I didn't like the fact that they'd all look the same. These ones are just primed at the moment, so they might be a bit difficult to see. But, you know, I didn't want all three of them to have the same poses. Uh, so I decided to change the arms around so that they'd have slightly more unique poses. So, got one that's just kind of throwing his arms back normally. Normally looks like that, but as you can see I lowered his left arm. So, changes a bit and changed the position of the right arm just a bit. Um, so, still quite similar. But when they're next to each other in, in, in different places in the squad, you're, you're not really going to notice. It just helps to make them a bit more individual. But things like that, you know, I'm going to be trying to do lots of little conversions, just little tinkering. So hopefully down the line through all these uh, videos of me finishing models, you might find some inspiration of how you can get your models looking a bit more unique. So this little group that I've got assembled here are the most finished models. So I'm just going to go through them, what I've got, show you what the overall army is going to end up looking like. I've been testing out a new effect for the energy blades because I did have a, an older technique that, to be honest, took more effort. And if anything, that's what was slowing me down because every energy blade felt like a, a full-on you know, project. It just, it just too, took too much time to do um, and it made me not want to progress on the others. So I've gone for a really super simple technique. It's literally just paint the entire thing in moot green and then dry brush with white really aggressively, like over the top dry brush it with white and then put Tesseract Glow on it as like a, a wash. And that really makes the white turn into like a neon green on the edges. And it's super simple, doesn't look amazing, but from a distance it, it looks really good, it really pops. 
So that's going to be the new technique. And that's doing that recently has just spurred me on and made me think, yep, I can do this. This is a, an achievable project now. And to be honest, the same technique goes for the rest of the army colour scheme. Because, as you can see, I've gone for quite a simple colour scheme of just silver. I really like the original Necron colour scheme of just being silver. Some people go really fancy with it, but I love the, uh, the silver metal. Um, I've then gone for like a coppery, bronzy type colour uh, for the accent colour. So this is my own dynasty that I'm coming up with. And then that super bright neon green really pops. And I'm going to go on a rant for a second here because if you take away anything from this video, please take away the fact that you need to shake your paints very well. I have a funny story about the, the, the colour scheme for this army. Originally, I was painting it with Brass Scorpion and I didn't shake the paint well enough and it separated and so all of this colour scheme that you can see, all of the bronze colour is that original Brass Scorpion colour and it looks awesome. It looks really cool I think but the problem is when I got halfway through the pot it turned out I'd been using the separated part of the paint so then, when I actually wanted to paint the rest of the army, the other half of it, it was uh, separated and I, I, the colour ended up going completely differently. This is the same colour, can you believe? That is Brass Scorpion. Look how different it looks. My, my paint completely separated. So then I was left with the situation of I had half an army painted with one colour and every time I then bought more Brass Scorpion, it wasn't the same colour because I hadn't used the paint properly. So I ended up finding a substitute which is Screaming Bell. This took me so long to find a paint that matched because I didn't want to have to paint the whole half the army again. So now that I've managed to find a colour that is uh, a, a good match, now I can actually get on with painting the rest of the army. So we've got one of the Lockhurst Destroyers here. Again, I love the way all the barrels, the bright green barrels glow. Got the nice bronze colour. Got the Psychomancer. I really like the effect of the skull. I think that looks super cool. Another one of the Cryptex. Got Big Mama Spider. Got Illuminoceros. I really, really enjoyed painting him actually. I uh, put a gloss varnish on the blood to make it look like it's. Uh, glossy and, and shiny and whereas most of my colour scheme with the uh, bronze colour is shoulder pads and, and tiny extra bits like the legs only um, Luminoceros I kind of went in and, and painted him a, a lot more like the uh, Silent King's dynasty uh, like all of his chest and arms and stuff all have the, the bronze colour on it just to kind of make him look a bit more like a character a Canoptec reanimator again a, uh, another one from the Indomitus set and I'm really, really happy with how the blending went on the base. You can see I've got some of the, I dry brushed some of the uh, Zandri dust colour onto the bottom of the uh, legs. I think that looks really cool. A lot of people really focus on the dynasty aspect of the Necrons, and I do really appreciate that. But to me, the, the fact that they're robots, you know, I, I want to see a lot more. For, for me, I get a kick out of all the Canoptech units because. You know, it's something different than just metallic humanoid figures. It, it's it's something completely alien. So I really want to go down the Canoptech route. And then also, I forgot I had these off screen. These are finished. These are some flayed ones. These were completely different to anything I'd painted before. Really gory. And <laughs> I love putting uh, Blood for the Blood God all over them. Got some different skin tones going on for the flesh that's covering them. They're super spindly, but I love them. I've actually still got uh, some of the old Necrons. All, all I had when I was younger was just a set of 10 Necron warriors and then some of the older uh, Lockhurst destroyers. So I posed this guy to make it look like he was bringing the edge of his weapon down on someone. Because um, Dawn of War 1 was where I first saw the Necrons, so definitely that trailer, that intro trailer where the Necrons are taking on the Blood Ravens was uh, very impactful for me, so I wanted to make something like that. 
And there's a retro Lockhurst destroyer. Just going to keep this guy. Not going to use him or play with him or anything. Hopefully they do make some new models. I'm quite nostalgic for these old Lockhurst destroyers, but uh, they do need an, an upgrade, you know, when you compare them to the new ones. And then I have a literal box of warriors and immortals and scarabs. Uh, I probably shouldn't be storing them like this, but they're all basically half painted, so uh, it's, it's fine. They all need a bit of a repaint. That's the thing. I have a mass of these kind of models that they just, some of them are half painted, some of them are fully painted but need a varnish, some of them just need basing. They're, they're all in different states and that is the ultimate goal of these project videos is I'm gonna get everything finished one unit at a time and then we're gonna be left with a full army. And just lastly, I have things like this, which are special effects. Again, I'll go more into those in individual videos. And they really add another layer of uh, uniqueness to these models. So there we go. That's my Necron Force. That's what's coming. And I do hope you'll join me for these update videos. And I will see you in the next one.